Welcome back to my Growing Avocado Trees from Seed Series. It's day 165, the start of episode 4. Grow slowed down for all my plants after about 3 weeks of repeated tap water flushings. So I've decided to resume my fertilization regime. But I'm using a smaller amount of miracle Grow, one small scoop instead of one large scoop per gallon. So that top of the pot all the way to the soil line varies in volume across the pots but it might be about uh, 0.6 gallons somewhere between half a gallon to maybe two-thirds of a gallon but I suppose that's also not entirely accurate to characterize concentration of the fertilizer that gets in there as that ratio because I'm also going to water once more after this with the same amount of volume sometimes I water before so there's no real fixed formula here. It's day 171. A third set of leaves is developing. The uh, first set of leaves is fully mature, has been for a very long time, and is hanging in there. The second set is also fully mature, a lot more ruffled because they're so big. They're basically parallel to the ground. So one of the hallmarks of successful plant growing, in my opinion, is if I'm not losing any of the early leaves and I keep growing new ones just like with my Joshua tree then things are going really well it's the rate at which you lose leaves that matters uh, just as much as the rate at which you gain new leaves if you drop every previous leaf just to make a new set then your plant isn't really going anywhere it doesn't have enough nutrition not enough nitrogen phosphorus potassium and so on so this is coming along very nicely it's a little bit of leaf curl in one of the new leaves. Uh, we'll go over that in much more detail towards the end of the video where the phenomenon is very apparent. But I have noticed that definitely during the night at some point the leaves will kind of point upwards and when they're young they might um, be almost vertical or up by 45 to 60 degrees then as the leaves mature and are larger, even though these petioles look really thick, they never get higher than parallel anymore. So you can see some leaf curl there. Since that leaf is so big, and this one to the right as well, um, it would just be too big of a loss to prune those just for aesthetic reasons. So I always kept them. It's day 175. I'm going to stop using the span of my thumb and index finger to measure the leaves and the stem height. So this tape measure tells me this avocado seedling is almost 27 inches tall or 68 centimeters. Definitely that's a, a decent height. There are some people who have claimed more, uh, such as 4 feet in 8 months, etc. Uh, this leaf is 10 inches long, slightly in excess of that. That's 9.5. So these are the biggest leaves I've ever seen in pictures or videos online. Of course, uh, the people that made the four feet tall, eight months, um, you know, I don't really know if they measured uh, with a tape measure like that or yardstick or whatever, but uh, at least in terms of leaf size, I've got almost everyone out there beat. Uh, these are these little vestigial leaves, as I'm calling them, that don't really get any bigger, don't do anything. So I'm gonna do more watering, more fertilization every week. Um, so as I said before, it's a small scoop of miracle Grow plus a little pinch of vitamin dust every week and that seems to be quite good for the time being so I'll definitely have to adjust as the plant gets really big um, but for now I think I don't want to approach the point at which uh, I increase the solid concentration in the sand soil mixture too much to where the plant has trouble uptaking water so I think this is a uh, it's a pretty good spot where I'm at right now and I'll just keep doing what I'm doing until I notice problems so hopefully by then we'll have um, grown and matured this third set of leaves and the fourth and fifth and so on I might run out of room to put this thing so I've put a lot of thought into this because uh, in the past I really haven't had that much plant growing success in terms of getting these fruit trees to get really big but now that there's the prospect that it might actually happen. I'm 
kind of worried that I won't have the space to deal with this. So this is uh, the morning at which uh, I just decided to film a little bit without the LED light panels just to show you that there's no direct sunlight. Uh, this is sort of uh, south facing. It's sort of a south south east facing but there are overhangs on three sides basically you can see one of them right here and there's no light that's getting on there directly so I think this place uh, this balcony doesn't see direct sunlight until winter time so maybe only for a few months when it's coldest so it's day 182 so this is uh, same old same old for the first set second set it has matured long ago, so it's pretty much the same. Um, here's the biggest leaf. And going up, we can see the third set of leaves is uh, coming into its own. Uh, there is one of those, there's two vestigial leaves. One's pointing upwards, one's pointing downwards. So um, they're definitely bigger than those uh, little useless leaves for the first set and the second set of which there were only one I believe so there's two of them and they're bigger so that's one two three four five going up uh, stem six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve at the shoot apical marrow stem coming out so that's twelve leaves in this third set um, that's a record for this plant so it's kind of to be expected because as it develops, um, it gets more and more energy from the existing leaves or solar panels that it's already established. And the second set of leaves is it's pretty huge already. So I do have high hopes for this third set because I'm continuously supplying macro and micronutrients for plant development. But at the same time, um, yeah, the, the leaves are higher up on this so they get access to more light as well and they get all the energy that's being produced from the first two sets of leaves so I think the third set can be the most numerous and also have the uh, largest leaf sizes that I've seen to date which would uh, maybe not dwarf the second set of leaves in terms of size but maybe they'll be a little bit bigger I'm thinking but these leaves take a long time to mature actually doesn't just happen in the span of one episode typically it seems like it might take uh, maybe like five weeks six weeks even for all these leaves to finish growing so it's day 189 I did an emergency watering for all my plants today because there's a brutal heat wave that just struck so in the inland deserts uh, many places are very close to setting records uh, Death Valley is very close to setting a record it's only off by uh, one degree or a few if you believe in um, the temperatures recorded in the 1930s in that place but for here it's not above 100 it's maybe high 80s 90s um, for the highs of most days so it's day 190 I had to water yesterday ahead of schedule because I couldn't wait until seven days the giant Bangkok guava leaves to the left were all drooping so everything recovered in short order but these leaves are much bigger than those and although there aren't as many of them I was still worried about this plant suffering from drought stress so I'll start watering in the middle of the week from now on notice that my avocado leaves expand on the top side faster in the middle phases of the growth than on the undersides at least that's my theory causing this leaf curl that you see the undersides grow in the middle of the night um, that's what I've observed time and time again so I generally do wake up to more straightened leaves and when the leaves finally mature they can fully straighten out but for my second set there were two that remain sort of deformed and curled so there's a lot of empty space here around the positioning between the first and the second set of leaves I believe that's due to phototropism I rotate my pot every week but it's not a perfect system. Ideally, this would be growing underneath full sun so that the Earth's rotation relative to the sun would give it an 
more or less an equal amount of sun from all directions so it wouldn't have this phototropism problem. So I'm spraying this distilled water to remove the hard water spots that you just saw and also a little bit of residual mud from the pomegranate transplant to get it to sit upright to our right and shed a bunch of leaves. So there's a lot of water weight accumulating just by me spraying like this which would be mimicked by rain in nature. The leaves are so big that this plant is starting to tilt like this worryingly to the left but I know that when it dries out it'll be fine. It's day 196. There's been a huge amount of progress for this plant over the last month. So this episode actually didn't end up spanning as much time as I thought it would just 30 something days slightly over a month so as you can see the third set of leaves is bigger than ever this is the biggest leaf on this avocado plant right now and it still looks like there's a little bit of puffiness on the top side which means if there's a little bit more underside expansion and growth that leaf could be yet bigger and you can see how curled these other leaves are there's two of them that are really curled I don't know if it's coincidence that they're facing away from the sun, but maybe that has something to do with it. This one is really wrinkly looking because there's been so much topside expansion, just like with this one, and not enough uh, underside growth. At least that's what I think is going on here. So this is like the longest one. I think this is just a big one as well, and the new leaves are growing very fast as well. So these are my biggest avocado leaves yet. I've never seen anything this big online or offline. So multiple leaves are about 10 to 11 inches long and 4 inches wide. So by width, they definitely have anything from the second set beat. And this makes me think about how big the fourth set of leaves are going to be. So this one is a really long one. Um, Many of them seem to just have way too much growth on the top side. Uh, maybe that's just how these leaves can get so big. I have seen other people's videos where they seem to have different varieties. that They took the avocado pits from to grow their seedlings and the leaf morphology and appearance is different. Some people have more color to their leaves. Uh, mine are just uh, straight up green from the get-go. I rotated the pot last week and had the side with the gap on the first and second stories facing the sun towards the outside of the balcony. So the leaves for the third set seem to have uh, grown over towards that direction to compensate for the weight imbalance. So I think that shouldn't be a problem going forward. This used to be the biggest leaf, but no longer is. Thanks for watching.